Hello, my name is Brian Pace at Table Tennis Test Rider, and this is Tennergy 05 FX. <laughs> Hollowed out, all people get me, you'll find the fix is this suit. I love the sport of table tennis. I play it, uh, I coach it, uh, I make table tennis DVDs, I do table tennis clinics, I uh, organize competitions, but my favorite thing in the world to do is equipment testing. And the good people over at fastpaddle.com have given me a sheet of butterfly new Tenergy 05 FX. And to be honest with you, rubber is starting to be more and more expensive these days. And with terms like energy built in, spring sponge technology, high tension, those are all fancy ways to say something. But what you have to understand is, will this technology benefit your game? Well, that's where I come in at. I'm gonna give this rubber a test drive. And I'm gonna give you back six barometers, and they are rubber design, blade compliance, durability, range of attack shots, type of feel, and the last one is whether or not this rubber should go on your forehand or your backhand. So before we get started, we need to go to the test rider lab and put this rubber on. Let's go. Tenergy started off with the bang with this inception in 2008, even going through times where you couldn't get it anywhere in the world. And the best quality of the Tenergy 05 was this little symbol here, which stands for spring sponge technology, which gave you all the benefits of the glue effect without gluing. And what does that mean for you is having this type of rubber that has spring sponge technology means you're going to have a more consistent performance and you don't have to worry about gluing your racket throughout the day and possibly having a bad glue job. Choosing the blade is equally as important and you want to use a medium to a medium hard blade because the Tenergy 05 FX, that FX actually means uh, more flexible sponge and if you have a medium to a medium hard blade what you're going to do is unlock the full potential of how compatible the rubber is with the blade another reason to use a medium to a medium hard blade is that you want to maximize your power as well as your touch let's talk about durability now in my career i haven't found a rubber that's been as durable as Tenergy Geo 5 and more importantly I haven't found a rubber that maintains its high quality of play for such a long time most rubbers have this kind of lifespan and the Tenergy has this type of lifespan the way it slowly slowly degrades so by the time you change to a new sheet you don't feel like you're playing a different sport And with having a softer sponge, I don't think the lifespan of the 10 g 5 FX is going to be any shorter. Now that I have the rubber on the blade, I'm going to go over the next barometer, which is the range of attack shots that make 10 g 5 such a great overall rubber. With a softer sponge, you're going to get greater feel and touch that will make you aware of what your natural range is when playing attack shots close to the table and off. Where I said the Team Geo 5 was great is that you didn't have to do a full swing to still get a high quality shot, and that's still the same with the 05 FX. Looping on the spin.
Now, this is where you get a real return on your investment, especially if you are already using the Tina Geo 5 or a rubber like it. The determining factor for looping an underspin ball is feel. And with having a softer sponge, that means the ball is going to stay on the racket longer. The ball stays on the racket longer, that means more revolutions per second. More revolutions per second means more control. More control means more problems for your opponent. Where I was the most disappointed with the Tenjo 5 was his inability to yield a consistent attack shot. And the sponge was so hard that I found it a real big challenge to find the proper range when doing the counter loop. And now with the 05FX, you're going to have more real estate to land that counter loop. feel for the Tenor G05 is what really makes it a standout and the biggest drawback to finding an extreme attacking rubber is trying to salvage some touch shots out of it like being able to make a short return, being able to serve the ball short with a lot of spin or to make soft touch shots and having this softer sponge allows you to have that leverage. For the serve, the 05FX gives you all the benefits of having a 10 g 5 but because it has a softer touch, you're going to be able to put a little bit more spin on your underspin serves. With touch size being my biggest complaint of the 10 g 5 the 05FX has closed that complaint for me and now I can finally feel the ball when I'm making multiple short attack returns that I want to put heavy on the spin on. This may be the most important barometer yet and that's going to be which side the 10 g 5 fx is best suited. Now if for either one of these shots you have established the attack shot and you can still salvage the soft touch shots and the shots that require a lot of feel then go ahead and stay with the 10 g 5 or a rubber blanket. But if you feel like you've lost your footing, I mean you truly lost your footing, meaning that you've established the attack shot with the 10 g 5 but you are not as comfortable with the touch shots, with the soft touch shots, then you need to use 10 g 5 effects because that's going to help you reestablish that long forgotten aspect of your game. The verdict. 10 g 5 FX is just the upgrade you need if you want a rubber with a softer sponge, good feel, great range, long durability, and a technology that does not require speed blowing. So stay tuned for future videos where I'm going to do a direct comparison of 10 g 5 and 10 g 5 FX. And this video is sponsored by good people at fastpaddle.com. So if you have any questions about this video or you want to get a rubber or a racket review, contact Fast Paddle at that number or that website. And remember, at Table Tennis Test Rider, I ride, you decide.